Hi there, today I'm showing you how to make pumpkin lush. If you love lemon lush, you are gonna love this pumpkin version of this luscious dessert. It is perfect for fall. I'm Christina from It Is A Keeper and I share tried and true recipes that anyone can make, like this pumpkin lush. It's light, luscious, and you're going to love it. So let me show you how to make it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do for our pumpkin lush is to work on the base layer. And it is super simple, only a handful of ingredients. So the first thing I'm going to add is some all-purpose flour. Then we're going to add some melted butter. And last, some chopped walnuts adds such a nice crunch to the recipe. Now you can use other types of nuts in this recipe if you'd prefer, like pecans would be amazing in this. Or is it pecans? I don't know, we have that discussion all the time on this channel, pecans or pecans. I'll be honest with you, I just say whatever comes out of my mouth at the time. I don't think I ever do it the same way twice. But we're using walnuts today and there's only one way to say that. So you're just going to mix that all up. It's going to be quite wet and sticky, and that's okay. Get all that flour from the bottom. Okay. So now we're going to pull in our baking dish. We need a 13 by nine baking dish, and we're going to get this crust into the bottom. Okay, so we have our baking dish here, and we're just going to transfer this crust in there. So I just kind of spread it around with my spatula. It looks like it's not gonna work. It'll work, trust me. Have a little faith. So I like to just get in with my hands and push it into the corners and right to the edges. And you wanna make sure that the entire bottom is covered. Doesn't need to be a thick coating, just needs to be covered. But I really find the best way to do this is to just use your hands. Clean hands are your best kitchen tool. So just keep working it. If you see any empty spots pop open on the bottom, just push some more of the dough to fill it. You're not even really going to see this. It's going to get covered up, so it doesn't need to be 100% perfect. Okay, this is looking good. One little bit here in the corner. Okay, so we are going to take our crust, we're going to pop it into the oven, bake it for a few minutes, and in the meantime, we're going to work on the fillings. So while our crust is baking, we are going to work on the filling. So the first part is our pumpkin filling. So it starts with some pudding mix. So here I have two boxes of vanilla pudding, instant vanilla pudding. We don't wanna use the cooked kind. Make sure it's instant. You can easily substitute sugar-free for this um, if you wanna cut back on some of the sugar. Now to that, we're going to add two cups of milk. So we are not following the instructions on the package. Follow the recipe. And we're just going to whisk this until it's combined. Now, because we're using the two boxes of pudding mixture and the two cups of milk, it's gonna get thicker faster than it normally would. Okay, so that looks nice and smooth. Now to this, we are going to add some pumpkin puree. So here I have a cup of pumpkin puree. I'm just gonna add that right in there. And to that, we're going to kick up the pumpkin pie flavor by adding some pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie <laughs> spice. Uh, you can find the recipe on my website. I will link to it in the show notes for you. But that's just really gonna give us that warm pumpkin pie flavor. So we're gonna whisk that all in. Oh, you guys, this smells so good. This is like fall in a bowl. It smells wonderful. So this recipe comes together super fast. The hardest part is waiting for it to chill. Okay, that looks good. We're going to put this aside, let it hang out. We're going to work on the next layer. Okay, so for the third layer of our pumpkin lush, 
we are going to add some cream cheese. So I have a block of cream cheese. You can easily use the lower fat version. That's perfectly fine. It works best if it's softened. So if I know I'm gonna make this, I will just set out my cream cheese the night before and let it come to room temperature. Just leave it out overnight. And then we're going to add some powdered sugar to the bowl. So for this, we don't wanna use our hands. I'm gonna get in there with an electric feeder and we are going to get this thoroughly mixed. Okay, so this looks good. That's exactly what we're looking for. So now we are going to add half a container of whipped topping. I went ahead and thawed it. Again, you can use light, you can use sugar-free, whatever floats your boat. Scrape that in there. Now you can fold it, but I really don't see any difference if you use the mixer to just get it in there. Okay, that looks awesome. Make sure everything's caught up from the bottom. So we have a beautiful consistency. It almost looks like, like a marshmallow fluff. Perfect. This is our third layer of the pumpkin lush. Next, we're gonna start layering it. Okay, so our crust is baked and cooled. So now we can start assembling the layers. You really don't wanna do it on a hot crust because things will start to melt. So you wanna make sure that it's nice and cool and it had time to rest. You could probably even do this the day before if you wanted to. I would. So next, we're just going to start layering the, the layers that we made. So here we're gonna put our pumpkin layer right on there. I love the smell of this. I am a fall person. I love everything about fall. And this just makes me really want fall. Okay, so we're just going to spread it evenly. Oh, it smells so good. That pumpkin pie spice really takes it up a couple notches. Okay, pumpkin layers on. Now we're gonna do our creamy, lushy layer. So same thing. Now I find that this is, because this is a little thicker to spread. So what I like to do is just kind of dollop it throughout. You don't want to do one big dollop because I, I find it a little, you'll pull up a lot of pumpkin if you do it that way. Insider trick. <laughs> Somebody that's made lots of this. Off you go. Okay, so same as the pumpkin layer, you're just going to spread it and it's okay if you pick up some of the pumpkin in the white, we're gonna cover it up. You're not even gonna see it. You guys know I don't do fussy desserts. I'm clearly left-handed. I can't do that with my right hand. <laughs> I thought I could be uh, ambidextrous there for a moment. Not happening. I'm completely left-sided. Do we have any fellow lefties out there? If you're a lefty, leave me a comment. Let me know. I always say my left hand, actually I'm sure my right hand, my right hand just holds jewelry. Okay, very nice. Ta-da! Okay, that's third layer. Fourth layer is going to be spreading the whipped topping all over that. So remember, we only used half of our whipped topping. So we're going to take the rest and get that all on there. Nice thin layer of that. So just spread it around. And again, don't worry about being too perfect. I wanna go in with the right hand again, but I know it's not gonna work. Get that last little bit covered up. 
Perfect. Okay, last but not least, we have some chopped walnuts. So remember, we have walnuts in the crust, so we're just going to sprinkle some more chopped walnuts across the top just to show everybody what's inside. And again, if you wanna choose another nut to use here, have at it. And last but not least, a little sprinkling of some cinnamon. Or you can make that pumpkin pie spice, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna go with just some cinnamon. Just a quick little sprinkle. Now, let's dig into this bad boy. Okay, so we took our finished pumpkin lush, popped it in the fridge for at least an hour. It's better for a couple hours, but at least an hour. We want everything to firm up and become one together. One luscious lushiness. So, now we're gonna take this chilled pumpkin lush. I'm gonna go right in for a piece. Can use a sharp knife to cut through that crust. All right, the moment of truth. And just look at those layers that we have in there. The first piece is never pretty. I don't know why I insist on showing you that on my videos, but you know, you know how it is with pies, cakes, lushes. Going in. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. The crunch of the nuts, that buttery flaky layer on the bottom and the warm pumpkin-y layer in the middle, and that pumpkin pie spice. Oh, you guys, this is heavenly. I might have to swap out one of my pumpkin pies at Thanksgiving for this. It's that good. This pumpkin lush is definitely a keeper. I just love how light and airy it is and that pumpkin-y warm flavor is perfect. So let me know in the comments what your favorite pumpkin dessert is. And if you want another incredible pumpkin dessert, make sure you check out my no-bake pumpkin pie. Thanks for hanging out with me today. You can get the full principal recipe in the video description below. I'll see you next time, bye.